Hey everyone, welcome to my channel ASP.NET Core and today I'm going to show you the simple uh, shopping cart project is the next video actually. Uh, here we have a pay now button and that uh, pay now button uh, will active when uh, user have uh, some pending uh, amount. Okay. So uh, that pay now button have some order VM and in the pay now uh, just uh, it's a you can say that uh, after the order summary when the uh, order is finalized for the payment so here we have a stripe uh, information uh, and uh, here we have a order header and the order detail as usual order header by using the unit of work dot order header by using get the uh, single order header id and including property that is application user and order detail is actually a list of order related to the uh, product uh, unit of work dot order detail dot get all by using the order header id and including product that is product okay so order header and the product in that order detail and after that uh, set the domain and the options that is session create options and in the session create options we have a line items and the line item mere mode is a payment successful url and the cancel url is also set okay and in the order detail you know that uh, you know that in order detail we have some uh, line item options session line item options and the order detail we have the unit of amount currency product data and the product data uh, uh, i'm using uh, at here only in the name quantity is uh, item dot quantity and options dot line items dot add that is line item options okay uh, and the next thing is to service create a new session service okay and after that you can call the unit of work dot order header dot payment status so payment status is done by using the session id and the payment intent id okay so initialize the session id and payment intent id change the order status by using their order header id after that you can change the unit of work dot save and response dot adder header dot add location with the session url and also change the status url and after that you can run your project again little bit ta uh, take a uh, few seconds to run your uh, run my project so wait for some times after that I will show you the functionality of a uh, shopping cart okay now successfully run and uh, after that you can log in into the system first of all when that when we click on the cart you can see that cart is all already zero and uh, just add some function uh, login into the system and logged in into the system first of all and after that you can see the cart is zero so first of all add some uh, and all order are cancelled category access denied product is also access denied so first of all resolve these things uh, that is not visible for the user actually so just hide uh, by using the layout.css demo file so just open layout.css demo file and you will see uh, here we have uh, two links that is for the product and uh, one for the use, uh, category both are access denied but uh, hide uh, from the uh, layout.css stimul file so you can use user dot is in role and is in role that is the uh, that is admin okay and one is here and next is here okay but you can see that uh, here we have a uh, is in role is actually a, a function not a property so you can initialize it and you can compare with the both admin and as you should so you can use as a method at here 
so the problem is resolved okay that's fine now after that uh, both are hide because uh, you are not logged in into the uh, admin account if you are an admin then you can log into the uh, admin account and you will see two uh, new links for the product and the category but if you are not, uh, not logged in into the admin account then you will not see that two uh, extra links for the product and category okay so run the project and see the outputs okay so here we have uh, category and products are hide for, for the users now click on the orders and click on the home also and add some uh, item into the cart cart will be updated by the numbers that is one and when we uh, if if we are deleting the items the cart value will not update it so first of all resolve that uh, issue and after that uh, we will show the pay now button and what will be doing this actually when we uh, deleting the item from the cart then cart and the session value will be updated so uh, in the cart controller in the minus button handling you will add that two lines uh, two line of code that is count variable count unit of work dot cart dot get all i mean to say that all uh, application user uh, i mean to say that logged in user card detail you uh, get first of all and uh, count minus one all cart uh, are getting and minus one if you are press the minus button and after that you can uh, send the request for the session by using session uh, http context dot session dot set integer 32 session cart and count so count value will be set into the session cart the same thing you can do in the delete button but uh, here we have a count minus one but in the delete button there is the different thing you can add it only the count value will be added into the session card okay so in the delete action method just after the unit of work dot save you can add two uh, two line of code that is similar for the uh, minus button that is thing count equals to unit of work dot cart dot get all that is the same line card dot application user id dot to list dot count and http contact dot set integer 32 uh, session cart and the count so here we have not count minus one only the count value will be set into the session cart okay if the session cart is zero then uh, if the count is zero then set the count into the session cart so e easily you can do uh, to zero session cart but one more thing at here if uh, you are not logged in and uh, you, when you check the card detail then will not uh, going to the zero you can you can see okay so just uh, run the project first of all and uh, see the bugs at here and you will see if you are going to the card details there is the okay everything is fine add to card detail incremented by one and deleting items it's okay but uh, uh, adding some items into the cart again and you are uh, not uh, okay just add it not here everything is fine because quantity is increased and next item mic have to add it into the account everything is uh, good and when you are logged out but cart will not zero when you are logged out so uh, that problem will be resolved by using the view components file because uh, in the partial page and uh, if you are not logged in so first of all check the session value by using their view components okay so first of all add a view components folder and add a new uh, view component uh, class file add a new item and the uh, component name is view component class name is uh, card view component 
okay so the next video i will show you in the in the uh, just after uh, you can say just after few hours so wait for some times and uh, i will show you the next video and uh, more detail about the session cart and incremented and decremented item by their uh, view components file so thank you guys for watching this video and keep watching all other videos which is related to asp.net core projects